Welcome to Owls Outdoors. Today we're going to tan a possum. Come with me and I'll show you how I do it. I'm not a professional. I'm learning, same as a lot of people. Just showing you how I do it. Let's go. Let them get soft, even up in the face. These are damaged possum hides. That's easy to do on flesh and bean and whatnot. I don't care. I just want that strip down the back. I'm gonna make me a hand muff out of it warmer. I have washed them and washed them and washed them. You can see the dirt in the water. But you gotta, uh, you gotta reach up in there, turn them this way. And wash the first and that too. Then we're going to put clean water in there and rinse them until the water is completely clear. All right, we have rinsed them till the water is clear. We're going to squeeze down like this a little bit at a time. Don't go like this, don't twist. You want to keep that hair in there. Just start up here, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You're just trying to get the majority of the water out of it at this point. Then you do this to it. You snap it like a wet towel. That's all you need right there. We're going to let that hang just long enough till we mix up our mixture for tanning. Okay? Stick with me. All right, sorry about the wind. I use alum powder. I hope you all can see that. There's several different kinds. There's arguments over what kind to use. I have no idea, I'm learning myself. All right, there's about two and a half cups of food grade alum. I'll put it in there. That is very hot tap water. I gotta let it cool off enough to where I can hold my hand in it. Otherwise you're cooking your hides. It's, it's close, it's getting there. We'll put about five pounds granulated stock salt in it. It's the cheapest salt I can get. It's where they sell horse feed at the feed store. And uh, we're gonna throw these hides in here in a minute. I'll show you. I always put more stock, stock salt than I need because it won't all dissolve unless you really, really work at it. So it's no big deal. Not for me. Like I said, I'm still learning. All right, we're going to take our possums. We're going to turn them flesh side out. Like I said, I really don't care about the head. I just want that back. and clean up that little bit right there later while I'm tanning it. Drop them in the bucket. Uh, alrighty. I'm going to dip them down in there real good. 
I use this stick to stir them a couple of times, three times, four times, whatever. Possums are real thin. I'm going to weight him down a little bit like that. And tomorrow we're going to start working them a little bit. We'll show you in a minute. Alright, these have been in here for about 14 hours, something like that. But they're possums, they're thin, and the way we're going to be doing it, it's not a big deal. Uh, you can see now, it's nice and white. You can feel the stretchiness. Uh, there's a few places that I've didn't get during the fleshing. We'll show you how to take care of that in a little bit. And like I said, I really don't care about the face that much, but if you do, you'll have to get some of that off of there. But uh, right now, we've got some warm, not hot. We don't want to cook our hides. We want to be able to keep our hand in it. Water, just clean water. We're going to rinse them. So, there we go. I'm going to turn them first side out. I'm going to rinse them again. Then I'm going to turn them flesh side out, change the water, and I'm going to repeat the process to try to get all the salt out of it. We'll get back to you on the next step. Alright, we've rinsed it a few times. Both sides. We're going to do this again. Don't twist. Don't pull. We're going to keep that fur in there going to get as much water out as we can. Again, that's just water. Did it several times. Don't use hot, hot water. You'll cook your hide. What we need is for that fur to be mostly dry at this point. So we're going to take him by the nose. We're going to snap him like a wet towel. No way see a difference. And then we're going to take the leaf blower to help it out a little bit. You don't have to. <laughs> Possums are quick and easy for the most part compared to everything else. So it doesn't take long to get them tacky. You need that you need that part right there to be a little bit tacky before the next step. I'll show you here in a minute. Alright. He's mostly dry. We're going to flip him right back out here in a minute. Or right here in a little bit. What we're going to do, turn him flesh side out. In any place, you got to be real careful on possum with the belly. It is so thin you can almost tear it with your fingers. But any places we miss, especially if you want to save the head, I made this scraper out of scrap steel. Just put a tiny burr on it. Just scrape that right there off. As clean as you want it. And we'll get back to you. Take us an egg, get us a water bottle, squeeze it. There, we got just the yolk. Put it in there. Oops. We're going to put just a little bit. Murphy's oil soap. And this is old, been in the shop a couple of years, but uh, pure neat's foot oil. You gotta be really careful with this stuff. A very tiny bit goes a long, long ways. That's all we're gonna use. Right there, just a few drips of it. This kind of mimics brain tannin, so you really don't need the salt solution, but I've done it this way before with good results. We're going to stir it up a little bit. I 
we'll get right back to you. All right, this egg solution is going to be a little too thick. No harm whatsoever in adding a little bit of warm water, lukewarm water. Don't get your water so hot you're cooking your egg, you know what I mean? Stick your fingers in it, just start rubbing it in. One egg yolk should do this little possum. The bigger the hide, the more egg yolks. Work it into the edges good. Try to keep it off the fur, unlike what I just did. It dries, you can brush it out. But... All right, I get this all done, I'll get back to you. We got our egg mixture rubbed into every little nook and cranny up around the ears and everything. I'm going to turn this nose in. Reach up in there. Grab that nose. We're going to turn him like that. We're going to cover him up as best we can. Try to kind of stick it to itself. And because the fur is still a little wet, I'm going to hang him by his nose like that for a few hours. Then I'm going to flip him back skin side out. And I'm going to leave him hang. And as he dries, you got to keep checking because certain areas will dry before others. You start working him. I'll be back to you in a bit. I hope you all can see good enough. My light burned out in my shop. I was going to do this in my shop. But I don't want to pull the side by side out. Uh, pretty muddy there and I don't want to tear up my yard. But... Uh, as this thing dries out, you can see right there, see how that's getting dry? You need to work it. Can you see that white showing up right there? You need to work it. And if your fingers won't do it, I've got me a little piece of half inch rebar here that I rounded off real dull. I keep the rust off of that. I wire brushed it real good and I put uh, that neat's foot oil on it every year to keep the rust off of it. Works pretty good. But if you take a spot like that, it's too tough to get with your fingers, put it on the end of that and pull. And it gets even whiter. Now, you gotta keep doing that and you get down, you wanna pull that hide like this. See it stretching? You wanna keep doing that. Now, I'll show you a good example. Down here on the leg, that's going to be one of the first places to dry out. You take that and you stretch it. See it turn white? Now, possums are thin, so you got to be real careful. You can tear this, so you got to be careful. Take your time. No big hurry. You get a tough spot. Just pull it on the end of that rebar. Now, right there's the back of his head. When you get around on a possum, they're so thin right there that if you work that at all, just work it with your fingers. You can work the back of the neck a little bit. Don't work this part on the rebar, okay? You get to a tougher animal, you get you a vise and put you on them grinding wheels, cut off wheels or whatever on them, and you can work it a little bit like that, like a coon. You can work out on there. Coons are tough. Practice on a coon. They're real thick. Practice on a possum. They're real thin. And uh, if you can do those two, you can do anything. Uh, I don't care about the face in this particular case. But I'll go around that face. And gotta be careful around the eye holes and things like that. But I'll slowly stretch that face. Even up between his eyes. I want to get around his nose. <clears throat> That's where that rebar comes in handy. That face and around the edges are going to dry out first. But you just do that and then you hang him back up. Come back and check him in about an hour. Go around and pull on it again. Until you pretty well got it all. Then go back and check on him in an hour. And you'll be done and he'll be just limp and smooth and soft. And uh, I hope this helps you all. We'll show you the finished product there when we start to get done. 
We'll be back to you in a minute. All right, we got our possum pretty well done. Nice prime winter possum. I got his face all done. I don't need the face. I just did that for the video. Nice and soft. I mean, it's there's a little bit of crinkle left in him, but if you want the wall hanger, that is just fine for a wall hanger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue. Oh, sorry about that. I'm working around a tripod. And you can see I put a little hole in him right there. That's not a big deal. I could sew it if I wanted to, but it doesn't show. And it's going to get cut right there anyway, so it won't be there. I'm going to use this to make something with. So, that crinkle's a problem to me. What I'm going to do is put just a little bit of neat foot oil on a paper towel. And I'm going to wipe it on there. Don't pour it on there. It'll soak in. You can't get it back out. And then I'm going to work it against itself till that gets soft and no crinkle. But for a wall hanger, that's just fine. And if you get a little hard spot you can't get rid of. I can't. I thought I saved one right there, but... If you get a hard spot you can't get rid of, take a little bit of 80 grit sandpaper or whatever you got and just sand on it a little bit, checking constantly. If you see a little hair poking through right there, stop. You're going too far. It won't hurt it so long as you stop. Now, one more thing, a couple more things. If you're doing the if you're doing the ears for a wall hanger, every time you walk away from those ears, put your little piece of cardboard on it and a chip clip to hold it, or clothespin, whatever. And try to hold the shape you want for those ears. As it dries, lay them this way if you want, lay them this way if you want, curl them up, try to make them look natural. We kept these whiskers and everything. Now there's something else I've done. See that one? Looks good, nice and soft on that one. I got too much of that neat's foot oil right here. Now I'm not going to use that part. That's an example for the video. It'll turn dark like that. It feels oily and you can't get it back out. So you want to go just a little bit at a time. Right now that's fine. I've got hides in there like that right there that have been hanging in there for three or four years and they're fine. I hope you learned something with me. If you got a different way to do it, let me get let me know. We're learning together. Thanks for coming to Owls Outdoors. Please subscribe. Later, y'all.